Hi everybody. So today we're moving on to chapter six. I know it feels like we've been doing functions and linear functions for a long time, so we're finally moving on to a new chapter. Chapter is on systems of equations. Um, so you do have some um, note sheets that I gave you in class today. Um, so we're going to be solving a linear system of equations by graphing. Okay, so again, if I assign some things in, work, in class, you are going to have to have your graph paper, your ruler, and again, I have rulers in class, but let's just talk about a system of equations for a second. A set of equations that have a common solution is called a system of equations. System of equations. A set of equations. So a system of equations can't have one. In our class, we're going to be actually doing systems of linear equations, which means that there will be two equations and two variables. Now, you're going to have to be able to recognize a system of equations, but the easy way to recognize is it's two equations together, okay? Whereas linear equations is just one, okay? A solution to a system of equations is a coordinate point. So when we find these solutions, we're going to be finding a coordinate point. Well, that should kind of make sense because if it has two equations and two variables, that means I'd be finding an x and a y, which would indicate a coordinate point. OK, so a solution to a system is of two equations is a coordinate point that makes both equations true. That means that, po that point makes both of those equations true. OK, well, actually, what really is occurring is that the solution to a system, of an equ a system of equations or a system of linear equations is where the two graphs intersect, OK? Where the two graphs intersect. All right, so let's look at an example. So my first example is, and we, we're going to be solving by graphing, x plus 2y equals 7, and x equals y plus 4. So you have a couple of options by, to graph. Remember that you can graph things in standard form by um, using the intercepts, or you can put them in y equals mx plus b. I'm going to actually put it in y equals mx plus b just because this particular one looks really, really nice um, if I just subtract the 4. So I'm going to, the lower one, I'm going to subtract 4 to both sides, and I get x minus 4 equals y, and then I'm going to rewrite it in the form y equals x minus 4. I'm going to identify, I'm going to stay with the blue, I'm going to identify my y-intercept and go and plot my y-intercept. So 1, 2, 3, negative 4, right? I'm going to go down to negative 4, and I'm going to plot a point. And then my slope is a positive 1, so I'm going to go up 1 into the right one, up 1 into the right one, up 1 into the right one, and up 1 to the right one, okay? Then I'm going to very carefully with my ruler create a line. I'm doing my best here go off the page, and there I've graphed it. Now, I do want to label this line. And the way I like to label them, I'm going to say that this is line 2, the second one. And um, so I would just say line 2. You could also put x equals y plus 4 if you wanted to. Now, the other line I'm going to do in red, and I'm going to call that line 1. OK, so let's do line 1. I should have probably done that one first. So putting it in y equals mx plus b, I'm going to subtract x. And so I get 2y equals negative x plus 7. Make sure you always put that x in the, in the front. Sorry, I dropped something. Um, make sure that negative x is in the front. Then I'm going to divide everything by 2 to put it in y equals mx plus b. And now I want you to recognize that this means negative 1 half, so it becomes y equals negative 1 half x plus 7 over 2. And a couple of you were having some issues putting that x in the denominator. Make sure it's not in the denominator. It's actually on the side or in the numerator, OK? All right, so now we go to 7 over 2, which is 3 and a half. So I'm going to go to 3 and a half. So up 1, 2, 3, and then a little bit more, OK? And I'm going to then come down 1 over 2 down 1 over 2, down, oops, down 1 over 
So down, wait, I messed up, I messed up, sorry guys, let me try that again. So I can't really see that long this board today. So three and a half, so I'm going to go down one over two, down one over two, and then down one over two. All right, and I'm really, really going to want to get a good number of points on here. Now, the board's just acting up for me, so I'm going to go back to my red. Um, I'm going to draw my red line through there, okay? But you guys, when you're doing your lines, your lines are going to be really pretty and neat so that that point of intersection is the solution to the equation. And I'm looking at it, and from what it appears that I see is the point, the coordinate point where they intersect is the point 5, comma 1, okay? Now, that being said, sometimes the um, point we're going to have to guesstimate it because our lines aren't perfect. So just do your best job with this graphing. I always say that when we solve by graphing that sometimes we get approximate answers, okay? So just keep that in your mind. When you solve by graphing, it is somewhat approximate if your lines are not really perfect, okay? All right, so what did we do? We graphed both, both of the lines using any method you want, and you just find the point of intersection, and that is the solution to a system of linear equations, okay? All right, let's do another one. Okay, so our next one, the next one that we're going to look at is y plus 2x equals 5 and 2y minus 5x equals 10, okay? All right, so let's do it. Now, for me, I saw that they were both in standard form, so I'm just going to use a different method of graphing on this one just so that everybody sees it, because I know some of you. So again, I'm going to label this one line one, and this one I'm going to label line two. All right, so line one. To do the intercepts on line one, I'm going to be really neat about it. I might even write y plus 2x equals 5 above it, so I know. I'm going to let x be 0 and y be 0, OK? If x is 0, this goes away, and I get y is equal to 5. If y is 0, this goes away, and I divide by 2, so I'll get 2.5, right? All right, then I go to my other line. So line 2, I'm going to do that over here. 2y minus 5x equals 10. I'm going to let x be 0 and y be 0. If x is 0, this goes away, and I get 2y equals 10, so y equals 5. If I let y be 0, I get negative 5x equals 10, so um, x then becomes negative 2. All right, so now I have my intercepts. So I'm going to go ahead and graph them. All right, so let's do line 1. 0, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2 and a half, 0. So 1, 2, and then a half. And then I'm going to draw the line as neatly as I can. Okay, 